Okay, how is everybody doing today? I uh, thought I'd do a quick update uh, here. We did get some progress done. It just doesn't look like a whole lot's changed. But um, here is what is happening in the theater. Okay. Uh, the lower soffit is now on all the way around. As you'll notice, that's uh, half inch plywood or OSB and then half inch drywall over it. And then to make the lip, uh, to finish the edge on it, this is um, corner bead, which leaves a little bit of a lip up here. Uh, it's not much of a lip, it's like a sixteenth of an inch, maybe an eighth. Um, but uh, it's pretty deep, it's like five inches back there, so I'm hoping that it hides the LEDs. Uh, if not, I'll have to do something different with the uh, LED channel. Uh, because I've got this... I've got this uh, LED channel that I showed you in another video with the lens on it. Uh, they do make this in black, so either I can just spray paint the front, which is actually probably the easiest way since I already have it in silver. Um, the uh, Thanks to Chuck for the suggestion on the Krylon. Uh, I know he watches this. Um, so when you're, my concern is when, you're, when you walk in the room or when you're sitting in the chair, um, that you may see LEDs, and I don't want to see that. So, uh, so I might be doing that. We'll see. Uh, but then uh, Chuck came and um, did the taping and mudding uh, for three days here. First coat taped and mudded. Then uh, the next day, the uh, Durabine, I think he called it, a finish coat. And then day three he came just to sand uh, with this uh, pretty cool dustless sander that uh, doesn't leave dust all over the house. So it is ready for paint, which is cool. The, uh, the windows here, you can't even tell that there was glass black windows there now. Uh, and there was a crack in the drywall here that is all smoothed over. Um, a lot of boxes in that wall. It's the Swiss cheese wall, <laughs> as they called it. Uh, I got some kills too. Uh, interior, exterior primer. I'm gonna prime everything. Uh, obviously, except the ceiling, because that's already painted. We had to paint the ceiling first so we could build the bottom of the soffit, and um, because it'd be very hard to paint up up in there after the soffit was built. So I'm pretty excited here because it's going to get finished pretty quickly at this point. Uh, once the walls are up, painting's easy, in my opinion. That's the quick part. So um, I'll get that done. I'm going to try to prime it uh, before the weekend, but I don't know. It depends how work goes and my schedule. Got to get to the gym, you know, every once in a while. Uh, but uh, yeah, so it's looking pretty pretty smooth. That's my future projector location, uh, potentially. Um, so that's that. That's the progress. Oh, uh, I also picked up the paint. It's super echoey in there. But uh, I picked up the paint for the side walls. The front wall is going to be limousine leather black, this Bayer Marquis. Uh, which is the same color as the ceiling. They told me it was the blackest black that they have. So the front wall is going to be in that. And then the other three walls and the soffit are going to be in, uh, it's called carbon copy. It's, there's a little little dot of it there. It's hard to see, but it's a kind of a dark gray. So the whole room is going to be pretty dark. Uh, and then the carpet is going to be that. I think, unless a better idea presents itself, uh, you know, a decent... A decent pile to it then with padding under it I think it'll feel feel pretty thick and soak up some power or soak up some power soak up some uh, some of the base energy uh, sound in the room you know reflections um, 
the <laughs> Romex. There's so much Romex in this room, like 250 feet of Romex. Uh, so here was one of my concerns. This is the pocket door that slides in here. So this is a relatively unsupported wall. I mean, there's there's this little brace here, but it's not it's not really substantial, like the wall flexes. Uh, so I didn't want to turn this into a big passive radiator. So I thought, well, I have this Stinger Roadkill that I was using on my SoundQ car audio project. I got four sheets of that. Why not stick that to the back of the wall? If anything, it can reduce some resonance in that panel. Uh, all the other walls are, you know, two by four supported every 16 inches. So it's uh, not as big as an, of an issue. Plus they're insulated. Like this is going to be insulated. That's going to be insulated. All the other walls are fully insulated. Uh, you can't insulate a pocket door because the door has to be able to slide in there. So it's a big hollow cavity. So I want to sort of dampen that down a little bit. So I'm going to stick those sheets to the back side here, I think, because you won't see them. They'll be inside the wall. And then, of course, the rest of it it will be uh, is insulated. Uh, I don't know if there's a better idea to do it without doing multiple layers of drywall and gluing in between and all that, uh, which would change the dimension of the soffit over here versus all the other ones. So uh, probably just going to leave that as is and treat the backside. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Hopefully, it's going to be a color next time. Alright, have a good one.